Hey, everybody. I'm David Suffar. Welcome to another virtual session with The Current. I'm also the host of New Hot, and I'm super excited to be joined by Emily of the band Dead Today. Hey, chilling. Chilling in my bedroom. <laughs> Where are we connecting with you today? Uh, I'm in Chicago. Right on. Chicago is where the band formed. Talk about uh, the formation of Dead for those who are just getting to know you. Um, we all met maybe six years ago or so uh, here in Chicago, um, officially at this house show space called Animal Kingdom. Um, and then the rest is history. Yeah. Right on. Your bandmates, Jason and Eric, uh, aren't here to chat today, but we're going to see you three perform some songs for us. Um, who's the other member of the band who's with you today? Um, I'm still deciding on this member's name, but I'm thinking Lucifer is going to be this little angel's name. She's going to play tambourine in the band. So Amazing. From this angle, what I'm seeing, it's actually hard to tell whether it's a cat or a dog. That is a super big fluff <laughs> ball you have there. It's a dog. <laughs> it's the breed is a Keyshawn. They're kind of rare. <laughs> when she grows up, she'll look like a Pomeranian and a wolf mixed together. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I'm looking forward to you bringing them on the road when you do get back on the road. Uh, can't wait. Let's talk about the new album, Flower Devotion. You know, the, the stories that I read said that you were planning to put this album out earlier, but it was interrupted like so many people's lives were interrupted by the pandemic. Yeah, good old Panny Demi. Um, we had to delay the release, and um, obviously I was like, whatever, there's way more important things going on in the world right now. Uh, this year is it over for band stuff but um it turned out it went really well being released later or i don't know if timing had anything to do with it but um everyone's been super nice about the album and it's received like everything that a band could want <laughs> as far as releasing an album goes so i've been pleasantly surprised um how this year has gone for us uh career-wise and music-wise like not touring doesn't actually matter, I guess. <laughs> Do you look forward to getting back on the road though? Oh yeah. I have never been this still in my life. I cannot wait to tour again. I'm hoping like next summer is when we can actually get back out there. So you talked about sitting still. What are you doing to keep yourself busy now that the album's out? Um, you're not on the road and you're waiting for those next steps. Well, um, I watch a lot of TV, which is not usually what I do. And um, I draw, I, I tattoo people when I'm not touring. So I've been tattooing and uh, basically like drawing all, like all the time. <laughs> Just waiting. Awesome. Tell us about, yeah, tell us about that. How'd you get into, into tattooing? Um, I actually got into tattooing kind of on tour. I would just do like, really rough around the edges, stick and pokes with like sewing needles and random inks, which I wouldn't suggest <laughs> doing if you're listening, but <laughs> that's how I started. And I, I just did it with like me and my friends would trade really shitty stick and pokes like in houses on and in parties and stuff. And then it sort of escalated from there. Um, and now I own a shop and I tattoo with a machine and I have clients and it's, it's more, uh, professional <laughs> than my humble roots. <laughs> Do you have a shared band tattoo that you've uh, all gone in on yet? I don't know. We haven't. I don't even know if we've talked about doing that. Um, yeah. No band tat. <laughs> I'll come up with some ideas for you and I'll send them your way. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I absolutely love your new album. We're going to listen to um, three live performances from it, including the song Ha Ha, Nobody, and Loner. Talk about the making of this album and, um, and sort of, you know, the approach that you took um, for this new one. Um, the album in general, we decided we wanted to like, polish it up a little bit more than our usual scrappy nature. Um, not too much, but just, we took a little bit more time in the studio, um, meaning 
instead of like two days, we took like a week uh, to just have a lot of time and buffer zone for making mistakes or experimenting or just having no pressure on like getting it right and having to get it right in like an hour. <laughs> um, so I think it, it, I think it, it shows in the, in the album. It's just a little bit more um, polished up, but yeah, it was the first time that, I had fun recording. I usually, I hate recording usually cause I feel very trapped. <laughs> really? I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. Well, we're gonna listen to we're gonna listen to and watch uh, you perform these songs with your bandmates. Um, let's roll into this song, Loner. Can you set this up for us? Yeah, uh, Loner is the one of the singles off the album, and it uh, for me, I was writing about a, just a desire of mine to be um, coincidentally learn how to be alone really well <laughs> in solitude, which now we all are learning this year, but. Yeah, I just wanted to write about the desire to be somebody who didn't um, need anyone. Not that that's like a healthy thing to be, but who, who wasn't obsessed with relationships or romance and who could just kind of be like this like cool, like loner type who just like, you know, I don't need anything. Um, that's what I was trying to write about. I don't know if I've accomplished that necessarily, that persona, but um, yeah, that's what the song's about. Emily, thank you so much for connecting with us today. This is a virtual session with Dead on the Current. <laughs>
Thanks for joining another virtual session with The Current. I want to thank our engineer, Peter Eklund, and producer, Jesse Weiza. And thanks to Emily and the band Dead for joining us today. You can find all our sessions at thecurrent.org.